All right, Shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom. Salute to the hopefully lap. I came across this uh this short. Uh, you know, a lot of um, a lot of people come on. Um, you know these shorts, and um, they uh, you know pass on information like they're um, you know uh, knowledgeable in certain things, which some of them are. But uh, it's a lot of uh, people. You know, you got TikTok. You know, so it's a thing where a lot of people. Uh, they speaking on things that they really not uh, too uh, knowledgeable about, you know. And I just wanted to, uh, I'm a, I have nothing against this guy, but, you know, um, the point of me doing this video is to uh, correct uh, what he said. Because um, you never know, you know, um, someone um, could come across this video. And, you know, I, you know Jake is simple, you know. And, uh, you know, uh, take this video and start going into other philosophies, you know, and uh, order your let, you know, hopefully let Mike come across this video and um, maybe he come across this and uh, get back on path. So, you know, that's that's what our job is to, uh, you know, defend defend the gospel, especially if we come across something that. Um, Go against the doctrine or is false, you know. So um, I'm not going to make this video too drawn out. I just want to get straight to the point. So I'm going to go ahead and play the clip. And let's go. God is a frequency. It's our job to tune in. God is not a man. They have this illusion that there's this sky daddy with a magic wand floating around granting wishes. That just really, in my research, isn't the case. It's more of a frequency, a divine frequency that is imbued in every living thing in the entire universe. God is a frequency. It's our job to tune in. God is not a man. They have this illusion that... All right, so you see what he said. Um, he said God is not a man. And that's totally false, you know. Um... And I'm gonna get the scripture, but I get what he's trying to say somewhat. But uh, being that he said frequency, frequency is like energy. But for the most part, he's wrong, you know. And um, I'll simply debunk that by going into scriptures. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna go into the blue letter. Yeah, again. So it's you know. It's our job to uh, defend the gospel. And when things uh, like this go out there, um, this could be, um, you know, a stumbling block, you know, or a hindrance, you know, for, um, you know, a possible new brother that's uh, coming up in the truth. And this can be, um, this can steer a brother in the wrong direction, start to go in you know, of the philosophy. So, uh, what he said, he said, God is not a man and that's false. Uh, this is Exodus, the 15th chapter, and I'll go to three, right? I'll start at two. It says, for the Lord is my strength and song. And he, you see, he, uh, is become my salvation. So you see that he, um, Obviously, he's a, um, he's a male, you know. Uh, it says, he is my God, and I will prepare him in um, habitation. My father, uh, Yahweh God, um, and I will exalt, exalt him, right? Uh, so, you know, you got a lot of, uh, you got some um, ph philosophies out here or some, how you call it, ideologies or, that some of them, uh, I did a video the other get the day. Uh, they saying that uh, some Jakes believe that God is a woman. You know stuff like that. So um, verse three it says, "For the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is His name." So it's telling you right there, the Lord is a man. You know, um, uh, when you go back to Genesis, 
the first chapter, it tells you that we were created um, in, in, in their image. Uh, when, it, when the scripture said our image, talking about the angels, you know, uh, the first spirits that were created was Yahweh Shah, you know, by uh, the Heavenly Father, who is a man, you know, and uh, our Lord uh, is also a man. You know, I know uh, the elder, uh, he often uh, says it. Uh, he say, well if, the, uh, well, if man and women were equal, then why did, uh, why didn't Yahweh send, send his daughter? You know, or he sent his son. You know, why didn't he send his son and daughter? You know, so, you know, just simple things like that. We try to uh, debunk and um, correct. You know, out of uh, humility, you know, just to, to uh, you know, edify, edify, edify the brothers. You know, we got a, this a continual job, you know, I got one more scripture. Um, This is John, the fourth chapter in verse 24. It says, um, God is a spirit and they that worship him, not her. You know, or not she, it says him must worship him in spirit and in truth. You know, so uh, these, this scripture right here is telling you that the, uh, the heavenly father and his son, because his, his son, uh, Yahweh Shai, is a God as well. You know, you got uh, different tiers, different levels, you know. The uh, Yahweh, that's why we say Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Uh, you know, uh, the, the Heavenly Father is the the most high, you know, the highest of the highest. Then you have his son, Yahweh Shah, you know. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to bring out that point. Yeah, um, you know, God, God, the one everybody ignorantly called uh, Jesus or uh Jehovah or uh, or God is a man, you know. So I hope this was edifying. Uh, till again, shalom.